If you want to stay updated about our channel, then please subscribe and hit that bell. Please enjoy the video. So, when you start this, you just want to have your face in the water with your scuba regulator in. Then the trick is to just breathe in slowly and deeply. Try to breathe in like you're breathing through a straw and when you breathe out imagine you have a spoon of hot soup that you're trying to blow cold. It's quite easy, right? Just breathe in and breathe out. And again, breathe in and breathe out. Just listen to the sound of your scuba bubbles. Just remember that when you breathe in and out, to breathe in through your mouth and not through your nose. Right. So, when you breathe in and out a few times comfortably, you can lift your head from the water and great job. Start the skin dive by having your mask on and your snorkel in your mouth. Take a couple of really nice deep breaths. And once you're ready, take a final deep breath and swim slowly down towards the bottom. Swim under the water for a few meters and then when you reach the surface, clear your snorkel using the blast method. Keep your mask and snorkel in your mouth. For the dive equipment setup, start by inspecting the scuba tank and check all the numbers on the tank. Especially check the hydrostatic test date and check your visual inspection making sure that all the dates are correct. Check if the o-ring is in there and that it is in great condition. Then check the tank valve which way is open and close and give it a little burst to clean the valve. Once that's ok, grab your BCD at the BCD handle put your safety strap away and then correctly place the BCD over your scuba tank. Make sure that it's at least four fingers from the top and then close the buckle. Double check if everything is attached. Make sure that the tank valve is parallel with the BCD handle. Place on the safety strap and tighten the safety strap accordingly. Again, double check your BCD handle that it's parallel to your tank valve. You can also check if the tank is not too high or too low by placing your hand and fingers at the top of your valve and your BCD. Now, to make sure that everything is attached correctly, grab your BCD's tank or the handle of your BCD and then give it a little wiggle. Just make sure you be careful of your back. Grab your regulator, unscrew the dust cap from the first stage. Make sure that the two breathing hoses are on the right side of the right shoulder of your BCD. Place the first stage over the valve and then gently screw until it's closed. Now it's very important, do not do this too tight. So only three finger tight. It's all okay if your first stage moves a little bit before we open up the tank. Then attach the low pressure inflator hose by pulling back the top of your low pressure inflator hose and connecting it to your inflator hose of the BCD. Make sure afterwards you streamline it Once this all streamlined looks in order, grab your alternate air source and attach your alternate air source at the right spot of your BCD. Make sure the yellow is shining outwards. Now, if everything looks good, before we open up the tank, turn your SPG away from you so the glass, in the unlikely event, if it damages, it cannot hurt anybody, 
hold down the inflator bottom of the BCD and then slowly open up the tank instantly releasing the inflator button of the BCD all the way open up the tank until the end now do a full check of your dive equipment by fully inflating the BCD first until air escapes from the BCD and then wait a second make sure there's no leaks squeeze it a little bit so now we check that air actually goes in and that there's no leaks then deflate the BCD by releasing all the air then check if it also works orally by putting a bit of air in there a couple of breaths is enough make sure you press down the deflator button when you breathe in once that's all okay then deflate the BCD again then grab your second stage in your right hand and your SPG in your left hand clean your second stage by perching a little bit then smelling it making sure that the air is not contaminated and then put your second stage in your mouth and breathe in slowly and deeply a few times while looking at your air gauge your air gauge needle should stay still if it moves then there is a problem if it is all okay then put your second stage down again take out your alternate air source and repeat the process gently breathe in and out making sure that everything is okay replace the alternate air source and make sure that everything is streamlined again Then after it's all good and streamlined, gently place your equipment on its side, make a nice little package out of it. As compact as possible. Now when it all looks good and done, you can walk away. by closing off your scuba tank completely turn off the air all the way once it's turned off take out your alternate air source hold it with your right hand and then your second stage in your left hand perch at exactly the same time both second stages until all the air is released from the hoses and the first stage Gently put it on the floor, unstreamline your LPI hose and disconnect it by pulling back the top of the LPI and gently disconnect it. Then gently unscrew your first stage from the tank valve and then very important Remember to dry that dust cap from any water, so no water can enter your first stage. We recommend using a dry cloth or towel for this one. Once it's okay, place back the dust cap on the first stage. Double check everything from any leaks, and once that's okay, you can use what we call a spaghetti loop technique to make a nice little loop out of your regulator system and then gently put it on the floor. Then release your safety strap, take it off the tank valve, then hold on to the BCD with one hand, release the tank strap and remove the BCD from the tank cylinder. Gently put it on the floor again and make a nice little package out of it. Then grab the tank and very gently put it on its side on the floor so it can't fall over anymore. Put your BCD and the regulator together. 
double check if everything is streamlined and then you can walk away. First thing you do is with your right hand hold down the deflator button continuously. Then with your left hand squeeze in the LPI hose to the top and then with your pointer finger and thumb pull back the top of your LPI hose and disconnect it. Then gently put it back on and make sure everything is streamlined. First you recognize that there is a problem with your body cylinder tank strap. Clearly communicate to your body that something is wrong with the connection of your scuba cylinder tank strap and that you will reconnect it. Ask your body to wait patiently. Then swim behind your body. Turn the tank, readjust, make sure that the tank valve is parallel to the BCD and that there is at least four fingers from the top. You can use your knee to easily readjust your tank whenever it's needed. When it's okay, reconnect the cylinder strap, double check if everything is straight, everything is streamlined and that the connection is steady. Once everything is perfectly back into place, communicate with your body again that everything is okay, body up and continue your dive. The first thing that you do is to fully inflate your BCD. Then lay on your back and open up your weight belt. Then under the water behind your back take it off. Remember not to drop it. Keep it close to your body so you keep your balance. Then make sure that the weight belt is not twisted or anything and then put it back. Make sure that you give the buckle to your left hand and the open hand is in your right hand. Keep laying on your back and reconnect the weight belt. Make sure that the SPG is not in between the weight belt. Double check if all the weights are okay, evenly displaced and nothing is entangled. Start by deflating your BCD and while you're deflating your BCD, effectively kick so your face stays above the water. Then with your right hand, take off your weight belt and drop it right next to you. Then while you're now positively buoyant, lean backwards to enter skill. First thing you do is your body picks up the equipment. Be very careful about your back. Hold it with one hand at the tank valve and then the other hand under the tank. Put the tank on your knee, then the other person first put your right arm in it, then your left arm, bend forward a little bit, close the velcro, close the buckle on the belly and pull down the shoulder straps. Remember to close the chest strap as well. Once you're okay, tell your body that you're okay and he can gently let go. Be even more careful with your back right now because you have a tank on your back. Pull up your, your body's tank. And then the same way as you got into the tank, your body can now go into the tank as well. Again, make sure that everything looks good and it's streamlined. And now we're ready to start the body check. So remember the body check BWRAF. The first thing you do, the B is from BCD. So inflate each other's BCDs and check if nothing is leaking. Then deflate each other's BCDs. Once both BCDs are deflated, then orally inflate each other's BCDs, making sure that it all works. Three breaths should be enough. Then deflate each other's BCDs. And then we have the W from weight belt. Check your body's weight belt. Make sure it's a right hand release, that all the weights are evenly distributed and nothing is twisted or entangled. And vice versa, your body will after that do that with you. 
If you have integrated weights, then check if the integrated weights are there. Then the R from releases. So check if all the releases are connected and everything is snug. Make sure it's comfortable, not too tight, but of course definitely not too loose. Especially your tank strap is really important that that is connected the right way. Then your body does it on your equipment. Then we go to the A from air. Now, before you take your second stage, first check on your body if the tank is completely open. Make sure you look on the valve and check the arrows. And you open it the right way. Once you checked on each other that the tank is properly opened, then grab your air gauge, hold it in your right hand, and then with your left hand take the second stage of your body. First we want to clean it by perching it, then gently perch it to smell the air, and then breathe from it. Take three slow deep breaths in and out, and check each other's air gauge making sure that the needle doesn't move. that is all okay, then you check your body's alternate air source using the same procedure. Make sure that when you put it back that you streamline everything correctly and make sure the yellow is really facing out. Then your body does it on you. And again, always double check if your body does the body check correctly. Once it's all streamlined, you want to do the F for the final OK. Now the F means that we want to double check everything. So make sure that all the hoses are connected correctly, nothing is entangled. All the air sources under the arm, everything is streamlined and correct any problems that you occur. Make sure that we have a mask, snorkel, streamline the SPG. Make sure we have our fins. Now, then a final OK, and we're ready to go scuba diving. Make sure that you have your mask on and your snorkel in your mouth. Then fully inflate your BCD by pressing the inflator button until air releases from your BCD. Lean backwards and make sure that you're completely positively buoyant. Once everything is okay, stand back up, make sure you're completely vertical, stretch that deflator hose as high as you can, fully deflate your BCD. Use your right hand to squeeze the last remaining air out of your BCD and simulate that you're going down. First, take a nice deep breath in and then take your second stage out. Make sure your mouthpiece is down and you blow bubbles. Then put your second stage back into your mouth and clear it by blasting to it forcefully. Then resume breathing. The second way is to take out your second stage. Again, mouthpiece down, blow bubbles, put it back into your mouth and then gently press the perch button to release all the water from the second stage. And then resume breathing. Start by taking a nice deep breath in, take out your second stage, mouthpiece down. Remember to blow bubbles, 
Move to the right and drop it. Stretch your right hand, touch your knee, bottom stank, move it around like in a sweep. Then grab your second stage, make sure that it's the right way up, put it back into your mouth and clear it either way you like it. Then resume breathing. Start by putting a little bit of water into your mask just under your eye level. Then with two fingers touch the top frame of your mask, breathe into your mouth and gently out through your nose while looking up. And then all the water is cleared from your mask. First thing that you do is to make contact with your body. Then clearly signal that you're out of air and that you want the alternate air source. Your body now takes the alternate air source and make sure that the hose is above the arm. You switch from your second stage to the alternate air source, making sure you blow bubbles in between. Clear the alternate air source either way you like it. Then create a Roman arm shake so you stay close together, signal OK and you're ready to go up. And then grab the deflator hose, deflate your BCD continuously while simulating that you're going up to the surface. Remember to look at each other, you will look up to the surface and everything is clear above you and keep deflating your BCD, breathing slowly in and out from your alternate air source. You're going to be doing this for 30 seconds in total. Just keep breathing. Once the 30 seconds are finished, then before you take out the altered air source, recover your primary second stage. Switch between, make sure again you blow bubbles in between switching. Give the altered air source back to your body and help your body to reattach it and streamline it. And that's the end of the skill. Start by being in perfect trim, don't touch the bottom or the surface. Make sure that you're completely streamlined and have a little bit of air in your VCD, adjusting it for neutral buoyancy. Swim slowly forward towards the deep end. And once you're ready to descend from the shallow to the deep end, make sure that you equalize your ears with the Felselva maneuver or any other technique. Release some air from the BCD, slowly exhale, so you're descending, equalizing all the way down. Make sure that you don't touch the bottom of the deep end and continue your dive in the deep end. Make sure that your equipment is streamlined. Have your hands in front of you to make sure that you're streamlined with your hands, that you're in perfect trim horizontal and then you can use any finning technique you like. We recommend the scissor kick or even better, the frog kick. Double check once in a while if you're still streamlined and adjust your buoyancy accordingly. Keep swimming around. Again, it's important not to touch the bottom or the surface. And every now and then, double check yourself that you're still streamlined and everything is in order. Gently swim, slowly is the key. Make sure you look around, you don't touch anything. Keep swimming from the shallow towards the deep end. Again, adjust some buoyancy whenever it's needed. Remember again that once you go from the shallow to the deep, that you equalize your ears on the way down. You can choose any technique you like. Velzelva maneuver, swallowing, wiggling your jaw, whatever you prefer. Also, it helps releasing some air from your BCD on the way down. Remember again, do not touch the bottom. I'm 
slowly keep swimming around. Whenever you're ready, make contact with your body. Grab your air gauge, tap on your air gauge to ask the air of your body. Your body will give the amount of air. Make sure you're okay to it, that you understand that person. And now the body will ask you. Give him your amount of air and make sure that your body gives you okay so you understand. Then continue the dive. First thing is to do is you make contact with your body and say that you're okay to go up. Then the second thing is you check the time, making sure you record the ending time of the dive. The next step is to go in ascent position, moving your right hand above your head and with your left hand deflating your BCD. Then check if everything is clear above you and then slowly swim up to the surface, rotating your body, making sure you keep looking up and nothing is above you. Then once you reach the surface, fully inflate your BCD all the way to establish positive buoyancy. Once you reach the surface in the end of the dive, then make sure you keep your mask on and your snorkel in, fully inflate your BCD by pressing the inflator button until the air releases from the BCD. Take out your second stage, switch over to your snorkel, make sure the mouthpiece is down and then release the second stage. Start by having your mask on and your snorkel in your mouth. Make sure that you fully inflated your BCD. Go flat on your belly, face in the water and snorkel forward, kicking your legs. You can again use the scissor technique as shown here or the frog kick until you're done. Start by using the scissor technique to effectively swim upwards and keeping your face out of the water. Take out your second stage and then inflate your BCD orally by pressing down the deflator button while you're breathing in and releasing it in between the breaths. Keep going until your BCD is fully inflated on the surface. By closing off your scuba tank completely. Turn off the air all the way. Once it's turned off, take out your alternate air source, hold it with your right hand and then your second stage in your left hand. Perch at exactly the same time both second stages until all the air is released from the hoses and the first stage. Gently put it on the floor Unstreamline your LPI hose and disconnect it by pulling back the top of the LPI and gently disconnect it. Then gently unscrew your first stage from the tank valve and then very important remember to dry that dust cap from any water so no water can enter your first stage. We recommend using a dry cloth or towel for this one. Once it's okay, place back the dust cap on the first stage. Double check everything from any leaks and once that's okay, you can use what we call a spaghetti loop technique to make a nice little loop out of your regulator system and then gently put it on the floor. Then release your safety strap, take it off the tank valve, then hold on to the BCD with one hand, release the tank strap and remove the BCD from the tank cylinder. Gently put it on the floor again and make a nice little package out of it.
Then grab the tank and very gently put it on its side on the floor so it can't fall over anymore. Put your BCD and the regulator together. Double check if everything is streamlined and then you can walk away. Start the skin dive by having your mask on and your snorkel in your mouth. Take a couple of really nice deep breaths and once you're ready take a final deep breath and swim slowly down towards the bottom. Swim under the water for a few meters and then when you reach the surface clear your snorkel using the blast method. Keep your mask and snorkel in your mouth. For the dive equipment setup, start by inspecting the scuba tank and check all the numbers on the tank. Especially check the hydrostatic test date and check your visual inspection making sure that all the dates are correct. Check if the o-ring is in there and that it is in great condition. Then check the tank valve which way is open and close and give it a little burst to clean the valve. Once that's ok, grab your BCD at the BCD handle, put your safety strap away and then correctly place the BCD over your scuba tank. Make sure that it's at least 4 fingers from the top and then close the buckle Double check if everything is attached. Make sure that the tank valve is parallel with the BCD handle. Place on the safety strap and tighten the safety strap accordingly. Again, double check your BCD handle that it's parallel to your tank valve. You can also check if the tank is not too high or too low by placing your hand and fingers at the top of your valve and your BCD. Now, to make sure that everything is attached correctly, grab your BCD's tank or the handle of your BCD and then give it a little wiggle. Just make sure you be careful of your back. Grab your regulator, unscrew the dust cap from the first stage, make sure that the two briefing hoses are on the right side of the right shoulder of your BCD. Place the first stage over the valve and then gently screw until it's closed. Now it's very important, do not do this too tight. So only three finger tight, it's all okay if your first stage moves a little bit before we open up the tank. Then. Attach the low pressure inflator hose by pulling back the top of your low pressure inflator hose and connecting it to your inflator hose of the BCD. Make sure afterwards you streamline it. Once it's all streamlined looks in order, grab your alternate air source and attach your alternate air source at the right spot of your BCD. Make sure the yellow is shining outwards. Now, if everything looks good, before we open up the tank, turn your SPG away from you so the glass, in the unlikely event, if it damages, it cannot hurt anybody. Hold down the inflator bottom of the BCD and then slowly open up the tank, instantly releasing the inflator bottom of the BCD all the way open up the tank until the end. Now, do a full check of your dive equipment by fully inflating the BCD first until air escapes from the BCD and then wait a second. Make sure there's no leaks, squeeze it a little bit. So now we check that air actually goes in and that there's no leaks. Then deflate the BCD by releasing all the air
Then check if it also works orally. By putting a bit of air in there, a couple of breaths is enough. Make sure you press down the deflator button when you breathe in. Once that's all okay, then deflate the BCD again. Then grab your second stage in your right hand and your SPG in your left hand. Clean your second stage by perching a little bit, then smelling it, making sure that the air is not contaminated. And then put your second stage in your mouth and breathe in slowly and deeply a few times while looking at your air gauge. Your air gauge needle should stay still. If it moves, then there is a problem. If it is all okay, then put your second stage down again, take out your alternate air source and repeat the process. Gently breathe in and out, making sure that everything is okay. Replace the alternate air source and make sure that everything is streamlined again. Then after it's all good and streamlined, gently place your equipment on its side, make a nice little package out of it. As compact as possible. Now when it all looks good and done, you can walk away. First thing you do is your body picks up the equipment. Be very careful about your back. Hold it with one hand at the tank valve and then the other hand under the tank. Put the tank on your knee, then the other person first put your right arm in it, then your left arm, bend forward a little bit, close the valve rope, close the buckle on the belly and pull down the shoulder straps. Remember to close the chest strap as well. Once you're okay, tell your body that you're okay and he can gently let go. Be even more careful with your back right now because you have a tank on your back. Pull up your, your body's tank. And then the same way as you got into the tank, your body can now go into the tank as well. Again, make sure that everything looks good and it's streamlined. And now we're ready to start the body check. So remember the body check BWRAF. The first thing you do, the B is from BCD. So inflate each other's BCDs and check if nothing is leaking. Then deflate each other's BCDs. Once both BCDs are deflated, then orally inflate each other's BCDs, making sure that it all works. Three breaths should be enough. Then deflate each other's BCDs. And then we have the W from weight belt. Check your body's weight belt. Make sure it's a right hand release, that all the weights are evenly distributed and nothing is twisted or entangled. And vice versa, your body will after that do that with you. If you have integrated weights, then check if the integrated weights are there. Then the R from releases. So check if all the releases are connected and everything is snug. Make sure it's comfortable, not too tight, but of course, definitely not too loose. Especially your tank strap is really important that that is connected the right way. Then your body does it on your equipment. Then we go to the A from air. Now, before you take your second stage, first check on your body if the tank is completely open. Make sure you look on the valve and check the arrows. And you open it the right way. Once you checked on each other that the tank is properly opened, then grab your air gauge, 
hold it in your right hand and then with your left hand take the second stage of your body. First we want to clean it by perching it, then gently perch it to smell the air and then breathe from it. Take three slow deep breaths in and out and check each other's air gauge making sure that the needle doesn't move. If that is all okay, then you check your body's alternate air source using the same procedure. Make sure that when you put it back that you streamline everything correctly and make sure the yellow is really facing out. Then your body does it on you. And again, always double check if your body does the body check correctly. Once it's all streamlined, you want to do the F for the final OK. Now the F means that we want to double check everything. So make sure that all the hoses are connected correctly, nothing is entangled, all the air sources under the arm, everything is streamlined. And correct any problems that you occur. Make sure that we have a mask, snorkel. Streamline the SPG. Make sure we have our fins. Now, then a final OK. And we're ready to go scuba diving. For the giant stride, stand with your toes on the side of the pool with your fins sticking over. Make sure that everything is clear below you. Put a little bit of air into your BCD, 50%. Once that's okay, left hand on the buckle of your weight belt, right hand, palm of the hand, second stage, two fingers on your mask. When you're ready, look forward and then big step forward until you go into the water. Once you reach the surface, keep your mask on and your second stage in your mouth. First. Fully inflate your BCD by pressing the inflator button until you hear the sound. And then whenever you're ready, switch to your snorkel and give a big OK to the people still standing on the side. For the buoyancy check on the surface, communicate to your body that you're about to perform the buoyancy check. Put your second stage into your mouth. Then deflate your BCD while holding a normal breath. You should sink down, but be neutrally buoyant at around eye level. If that's the case, then you're properly weighted for the dive. Then after you perform the scale, fully inflate your BCD again. Make sure there's some water in your snorkel. Then put it in your mouth and forcefully exhaling to clear your snorkel. Start with your mask on and your snorkel in. Put your face in the water. Take a nice couple of breaths. Once you're ready, take a deep breath and switch from your snorkel to your second stage. Make sure you blow bubbles in between switching. Clear your second stage regulator either way you like it, by using the blast method or perching it gently. Take a couple of nice deep breaths. Once you're ready, take a big breath and switch back to your snorkel. Blow bubbles in between and clear your snorkel by using the blast method. Make sure you're next to your body Mask on snorkel in and go face down into the water. Slowly start swimming forward. You can use any fin kick by using the scissor kick 
or maybe even a frog kick. The distance between you and your body should be around one arm's length away. Keep snorkeling together and once in a while look at each other to check each other up and communicate by giving the OK signal once in a while until you're done. First thing that we do is we signal OK to go down. Then the second step is we're going to orientate ourselves by looking around us and don't forget to look down to make sure that the area below you is completely clear. On step three, we're going to change from our snorkel to our regulator. Make sure you clear the regulator or the second stage from any water that's inside. Once that's okay, on step four, we're going to check the time. And then on step five, we equalize, we elevate, and then we press the deflator button to deflate our BCD and slowly exhale to descend. Make sure on your descent that you equalize your ears. Make sure you look around you and below you. Make sure you communicate with your body on the way down and you stay close to your body. Make sure that we do not touch the bottom. So go into the right trim position. Maybe add a little bit of air in your BCD in the end to stay off that bottom. Once you're perfectly neutrally buoyant at the bottom, communicate to your body again. So the first thing that you do is to deflate your BCD fully. Then gently go down and try to lay flat on your belly. Equalize on the way down if you need to. Then. Stretch your legs and try to spread them as far as you can. Take a couple of nice relaxed breaths. See if you start to rise when you breathe in. And if not, then just put a little bit of air by using your LPI of the BCD. If it doesn't work, just put a little bit more. Don't worry, you got all the time in the world. Just breathe in slowly and you start to rise. While you're going up, start to breathe out and then you go back down again. The trick is when you go down to start breathing in because there's a little delay for your lungs to get to the right size for you to go up or down. Just breathe out, we're going down, we start to breathe in and we're going up. Now breathe out, now go down and breathe in and you're going up again and you start breathing out. This way you're not touching the surface and you're also not touching the bottom. Okay, once you're done, just deflate your BCD and well done. Start by flooding your mask. The easiest way to do it is just to pull down your mask from the top until it's fully flooded. Then with two fingers, put some pressure at the top frame of your mask. Take a deep breath into your mouth and then out through your nose while you're looking up until all the water is out of the mask. For the mask removal and replacement, with your left hand grab the mask and with your right hand take off the strap and then take off your mask and your snorkel from your face. Make sure that you hold on to it and that you don't drop it. Then make sure the snorkel's on the side, feel the nose pocket so the mask is not upside down, move the strap away and then take your hairs out of the way, first your mask on your face, and then you put the strap all around, make sure it's not twisted, and that the strap is high above your ears. Double check if everything is okay. With two fingers, touch the top frame of your mask, breathe into your mouth and out through your nose while you're looking up to clear your mask fully. First of all, with your left hand, grab the mask and with your right hand the strap. Remove the strap and then remove your mask and your snorkel fully off your face. Make sure that you keep your second stage in your mouth and you make sure that you keep holding onto the mask 
and do not drop it. Stay like this for at least one minute, slowly breathing in and out through your regulator second stage. Slowly breathe in and out. Just remember to only breathe into your mouth and only breathe out through your mouth. Keep holding that mask in front of you. To be honest, if you breathe in slowly and deeply and you breathe out slowly and deeply, it's actually a really relaxing skill. You can keep your eyes open if you want to, but you can also close them if you prefer that. Keep holding on to the mask, breathe in and breathe out. Once the minute is finished, then put the mask back on, first making sure that the nose pocket is down again, snorkel on the side, hair out of the way, put the mask on first and then the strap. Be sure the strap is not twisted again and that it's high above your ears. When everything is in order, with two fingers, touch the top frame of your mask and then breathe into your mouth and out through your nose while looking up until all the water is cleared from your mask. Start by grabbing your air cage, have it in front of you so it's easy to look at. Communicate to your dive instructor that you're ready and then your dive instructor will start turning off your air. This will take a little bit of time. Don't worry. Once the air is completely turned off, then slowly breathe in and you will see that the needle will go down off your air gauge. Very slowly keep breathing in until the needle hits zero, which means that you're completely out of air. Once that happens, give the clear out of air signal to your instructor and the instructor will now open up your tank again and you can comfortably breathe again. Whenever you're ready, make contact with your body Grab your air gauge, tap on your air gauge to ask the air of your body. Your body will give the amount of air. Make sure you're okay to it, that you understand that person. And now the body will ask you. Give him your amount of air and make sure that your body gives you okay so you understand. Then continue the dive. So the first thing for the 5 point ascent is to signal to your body that you're okay to go up. Then the next step is to check the ending dive time. Then for step 3, go into the right ascent position by moving your right hand above your head to protect your head and your left hand on the deflator button. Step 4, check if everything is clear above you. And on step 5, we're slowly going to swim up to the surface, rotating your body making sure that everything is clear above you and keep an eye on your body so you stay close. Do not swim faster than 18 meters per minute. Once we reach the surface, then keep your mask on your face. Keep your regulator second stage in, fully inflate until air escapes from your BCD and then switch from your regulator second stage to your snorkel. And now you've completed the skill. First of all, grab the ladder with two hands. Then, put your feet on the ladder, make sure that everything is clear around you and especially nobody's behind you. Then, slowly pull yourself up, step for step, with all your equipment on, climb out of the pool. Grab your fins. By closing off your scuba tank completely. Turn off the air all the way. Once it's turned off, take out your alternate air source, hold it with your right hand and then your second stage in your left hand. 
perch at exactly the same time both second stages until all the air is released from the hoses and the first stage. Gently put it on the floor, unstreamline your LPI hose and disconnect it by pulling back the top of the LPI and gently disconnect it. Then gently unscrew your first stage from the tank valve and then very important remember to dry that dust cap from any water so no water can enter your first stage. We recommend using a dry cloth or towel for this one. Once it's ok, place back the dust cap on the first stage. Double check everything from any leaks and once that's ok, you can use what we call a spaghetti loop technique to make a nice little loop out of your regulator system and then gently put it on the floor. Then. Release your safety strap, take it off the tank valve, then hold on to the BCD with one hand, release the tank strap and remove the BCD from the tank cylinder. Gently put it on the floor again and make a nice little package out of it. Then grab the tank and very gently put it on its side on the floor so it can't fall over anymore. Put your BCD and the regulator together. Double check if everything is streamlined and then you can walk away. For the dive equipment setup, start by inspecting the scuba tank and check all the numbers on the tank. Especially check the hydrostatic test date and check your visual inspection making sure that all the dates are correct. Check if the o-ring is in there and that it is in great condition. Then check the tank valve which way is open and close and give it a little burst to clean the valve. Once that's ok, grab your BCD at the BCD handle, put your safety strap away and then correctly place the BCD over your scuba tank. Make sure that it's at least four fingers from the top and then close the buckle Double check if everything is attached. Make sure that the tank valve is parallel with the BCD handle. Place on the safety strap and tighten the safety strap accordingly. Again, double check your BCD handle that it's parallel to your tank valve. You can also check if the tank is not too high or too low by placing your hand and fingers at the top of your valve and your BCD. Now, to make sure that everything is attached correctly, grab your BCD's tank or the handle of your BCD and then give it a little wiggle. Just make sure you be careful of your back. Grab your regulator, unscrew the dust cap from the first stage, make sure that the two briefing hoses are on the right side of the right shoulder of your BCD. Place the first stage over the valve and then gently screw until it's closed. Now it's very important, do not do this too tight. So only three finger tight, it's all okay if your first stage moves a little bit before we open up the tank. Then. Attach the low pressure inflator hose by pulling back the top of your low pressure inflator hose 
and connecting it to your inflator hose of the BCD. Make sure afterwards you streamline it. Once it's all streamlined looks in order, grab your alternate air source and attach your alternate air source at the right spot of your BCD. Make sure the yellow is shining outwards. Now, if everything looks good, before we open up the tank, turn your SPG away from you so the glass, in the unlikely event, if it damages, it cannot hurt anybody. Hold down the inflator bottom of the BCD and then slowly open up the tank, instantly releasing the inflator button of the BCD. All the way open up the tank until the end. Now, do a full check of your dive equipment by fully inflating the BCD first until air escapes from the BCD and then wait a second. Make sure there's no leaks, squeeze it a little bit. So now we check that air actually goes in and that there's no leaks. Then deflate the BCD by releasing all the air Then check if it also works orally. By putting a bit of air in there, a couple of breaths is enough. Make sure you press down the deflator button when you breathe in. Once that's all okay, then deflate the BCD again. Then grab your second stage in your right hand and your SPG in your left hand. Clean your second stage by perching a little bit then smelling it, making sure that the air is not contaminated and then put your second stage in your mouth and breathe in slowly and deeply a few times while looking at your air gauge. Your air gauge needle should stay still. If it moves, then there is a problem. If it is all okay, then Put your second stage down again, take out your alternate air source and repeat the process. Gently breathe in and out, making sure that everything is okay. Replace the alternate air source and make sure that everything is streamlined again. Then after it's all good and streamlined, gently place your equipment on its side, make a nice little package out of it. As compact as possible. Now when it all looks good and done, you can walk away. For the giant stride, Stand with your toes on the side of the pool with your fin sticking over. Make sure that everything is clear below you. Put a little bit of air into your BCD, 50%. Once that's okay, left hand on the buckle of your weight belt, right hand, palm of the hand, second stage, two fingers on your mask. When you're ready, look forward and then big step forward until you go into the water. Once you reach the surface, keep your mask on and your second stage in your mouth. First, Fully inflate your BCD by pressing the inflator button until you hear the sound. And then whenever you're ready, switch to your snorkel and give a big OK to the people still standing on the side. For the buoyancy check on the surface, communicate to your body that you're about to perform the buoyancy check. Put your second stage into your mouth. Then deflate your BCD while holding a normal breath. You should sink down, but be neutrally buoyant at around eye level. If that's the case, then you're properly weighted for the dive. Then after you perform the scale, fully inflate your BCD again.
if you experience a cramp, maybe in your leg or in your foot, on the surface, then make sure you have your mask on your snorkel in. Grab the top of your fin, stretch your leg and pull it backwards as much as you can. In many cases it really works if you do it yourself, but if it doesn't work out, use your body. Now your body can do it for you and can also massage your calf at the same time. Start by signaling to your body that you're okay to go down. Then look around you and orientate yourself. Make sure that you also look down that there's nothing below you. Everything is clear. Then at step three, switch from your snorkel to your regulator. Clear your regulator second stage. Then on the next step, check your dive computer or your dive watch. And on step number five, Equalize, elevate, deflate your obesity to descent. On this descent, we're doing a visual reference. In this case, we're using the side of the pool as a visual reference to slowly go down. Make sure that you once in a while you look below you, equalize your ears, stay close to your body, and keep looking at the side of the pool to keep an eye on that visual reference and stay close. Make sure you don't touch anything. Once you get close to the bottom, make sure you don't touch the bottom and go in perfect horizontal trim position. Once you're there, communicate to your body to body up and to start to dive. During the dive, you might experience a cramp in your leg. If that happens, make contact to your body and communicate clearly that you have a problem in your leg. Try to remove the cramp yourself by pulling the top of your fin backwards and stretching your leg. But it's much more easier if your body helps you. Massage your calf until you release the cramp. And then continue your dive. Make sure that you put a little bit of air into your BCD. Slowly breathe in and see if you rise. If not, just put a little bit more air into your BCD by pressing the LPI inflator button. Slowly breathe in until you rise. When you start rising, slowly start to exhale until you go down and when you slowly inhale, you will go up again. By breathing normally, you will stay in one place. Make sure you do not kick and scull your arms, so streamline it either way you like it, by crossing your legs and putting your hands together. Remember, just breathe in and out gently on a normal pace and you should stay in one area. Remember again, do not touch the bottom, do not touch the surface. After 30 seconds, deflate your BCD and then you enter skill. Make sure that you're neutrally buoyant. By having enough air into your BCD, gently breathing in and out. Do not touch the bottom, do not touch the surface. Make sure you're streamlined. Have really, really good trim by being as horizontal as possible. Scissor kicks are effective fin kicks, but we do recommend to use the frog kick. Again, don't use your hands to swim. Streamline yourself as much as you can by holding your hands in front of you or maybe have them on the side of your body. Keep double checking that you're still streamlined, that you don't touch the bottom or the surface and that you are horizontal. There you go. Now you're swimming with a perfect trim. 
keep swimming around the pool. And remember if you go from shallow to deep, exhale slowly, make sure you equalize your ears once in a while and adjust any air in your BCD if needed. When you realize that you're out of air, make contact to your body and signal clearly that you're out of air. Your body will now supply the alternate air source, make sure that the hoses are above the arm. Switch over from your second stage to the alternate air source, blowing bubbles in between, and clear the alternate air source either way you like. Make sure you stay close to each other by having a Roman arm shake. Communicate to each other that you're okay to swim around. You'll be swimming around for one minute, so make sure you do not touch the sides the bottom or the surface and have really good swim together. Make sure that you look at each other once in a while but also briefly interrupt it by looking forward so you don't swim into anything else. Keep staying close together and keep a watchful eye to each other. Also once in a while communicate to each other if you're still okay. Slowly keep swimming around. Keep communicating. After one minute, signal to each other that you're okay to go up. Stay close to each other with a Roman arm shake. Elevate your LPI. Deflate your BCD and slowly swim up to the surface. Stay close to each other and make sure that you keep looking up that everything is clear. Once you reach the surface, keep kicking your legs effectively so you stay up on the surface. Then make sure you keep having contact. The person that is not out of air fully inflates your BCD normally and help your body stay up. And the one that's out of air, take out your alternate air source and orally inflate your BCD until you're fully inflated and positively buoyant. Start to see by being neutrally buoyant and in a good ascent position. Right hand above your head, left hand on the deflator button. Then take a couple of deep breaths in, whenever you're ready take a final breath and start swimming slowly while exhaling continuously making a sound. Uh, it's the best sound that you can use. Keep swimming slowly without touching the bottom or the surface and keep exhaling making that continuous sound. Swim for at least 9 meters until the seas has finished. Whenever you're ready, make contact with your body. Grab your air gauge, tap on your air gauge to ask the air of your body. Your body will give the amount of air. Make sure you're okay to it, that you understand that person. And now the body will ask you. Give him your amount of air and make sure that your body gives you an okay so you understand. Then continue the dive. The first thing that you do is to fully inflate your BCD. Then lay on your back and open up your weight belt. Then under the water behind your back take it off. Remember not to drop it. Keep it close to your body so you keep your balance. Then make sure that the weight belt is not twisted or anything and then put it back. Make sure that you give the buckle to your left hand and the open hand is in your right hand. Keep laying on your back and reconnect the weight belt. Make sure that the SPG is not in between the weight belt. 
double check if all the weights are okay, even if displaced and nothing is entangled. By closing off your scuba tank completely. Turn off the air all the way. Once it's turned off, take out your alternate air source, hold it with your right hand and then your second stage in your left hand. Perch at exactly the same time both second stages until all the air is released from the hoses and the first stage. Gently put it on the floor, unstreamline your LPI hose and disconnect it by pulling back the top of the LPI and gently disconnect it. Then gently unscrew your first stage from the tank valve and then very important remember to dry that dust cap from any water so no water can enter your first stage. We recommend using a dry cloth or towel for this one. Once it's okay place back the dust cap on the first stage Double check everything from any leaks and once that's okay, you can use what we call a spaghetti loop technique to make a nice little loop out of your regulator system and then gently put it on the floor. Then release your safety strap, take it off the tank valve, then hold on to the BCD with one hand release the tank strap and remove the BCD from the tank cylinder. Gently put it on the floor again and make a nice little package out of it. Then grab the tank and very gently put it on its side on the floor so it can't fall over anymore. Put your BCD and the regulator together Double check if everything is streamlined and then you can walk away. For the dive equipment setup, start by inspecting the scuba tank and check all the numbers on the tank. Especially check the hydrostatic test date. And check your visual inspection, making sure that all the dates are correct. Check if the O-ring is in there and that it is in great condition. Then check the tank valve which way is open and close and give it a little burst to clean the valve. Once that's okay, grab your BCD at the BCD handle, put your safety strap away and then correctly place the BCD over your scuba tank. Make sure that it's at least four fingers from the top and then close the buckle, double check if everything is attached. Make sure that the tank valve is parallel with the BCD handle, place on the safety strap and tighten the safety strap accordingly. Again, double check your BCD handle that it's parallel to your tank valve. You can also check if the tank is not too high or too low by placing your hand and fingers at the top of your valve and your BCD. Now, to make sure that everything is attached correctly, grab your BCD's tank or the handle of your BCD and then give it a little wiggle. Just make sure you be careful of your back. Grab your regulator, unscrew the dust cap from the first stage, make sure that the two briefing hoses are on the right side of 
the right shoulder of your BCD. Place the first stage over the valve and then gently screw until it's closed. Now it's very important, do not do this too tight. So only three finger tight. It's all okay if your first stage moves a little bit before we open up the tank. Then attach the low pressure inflator hose by pulling back the top of your low pressure inflator hose and connecting it to your inflator hose of the BCD. Make sure afterwards you streamline it Once this all streamlined looks in order, grab your alternate air source and attach your alternate air source at the right spot of your BCD. Make sure the yellow is shining outwards. Now, if everything looks good, before we open up the tank, turn your SPG away from you so the glass, in the unlikely event, if it damages, it cannot hurt anybody. Hold down the inflator bottom of the BCD and then slowly open up the tank, instantly releasing the inflator button of the BCD. All the way open up the tank until the end. Now, do a full check of your dive equipment by fully inflating the BCD first until air escapes from the BCD and then wait a second. Make sure there's no leaks, squeeze it a little bit. So now we check that air actually goes in and that there's no leaks. Then deflate the BCD by releasing all the air then check if it also works orally by putting a bit of air in there a couple of breaths is enough make sure you press down the deflator button when you breathe in once that's all okay then deflate the BCD again Then grab your second stage in your right hand and your SPG in your left hand. Clean your second stage by perching a little bit, then smelling it, making sure that the air is not contaminated. And then put your second stage in your mouth and breathe in slowly and deeply a few times while looking at your air gauge. Your air gauge needle should stay still. If it moves, then there is a problem. If it is all okay, then put your second stage down again, take out your alternate air source and repeat the process. Gently breathe in and out, making sure that everything is okay. Replace the alternate air source and make sure that everything is streamlined again. Then after it's all good and streamlined, gently place your equipment on its side, make a nice little package out of it. As compact as possible. Now when it all looks good and done, you can walk away. For the buoyancy check on the surface, communicate to your body that you're about to perform the buoyancy check. Put your second stage into your mouth. Then deflate your BCD while holding a normal breath. You should sink down, but be neutrally buoyant at around eye level. If that's the case, then you're properly weighted for the dive. Then, after you perform the scale, fully inflate your BCD again. To perform the diet diver toe, first communicate with your body. Ask him if he's okay and ask him to fully inflate the BCD to make sure it's positively buoyant. Make sure that everybody has the mask on and regulator in. Grab your body's tank valve 
and then slowly start to swim. Make sure you communicate once in a while throughout the swim and ask if your body is still okay. Keep looking behind you once in a while so you don't accidentally swim into anything and keep pulling your body. Keep looking, keep swimming and keep communicating once in a while. The swim is for 25 meters. So slowly turn your body around. Again, keep communicating and keep swimming to the confined water until you finish the 25 meters. First, start by having your mask on and your snorkel in. Make sure your BCD is fully inflated. Then, undo your chest strap. Unclip your belly buckle of your BCD and remove the Velcro strap. Stay on your back, release your shoulder straps and then gently take off your BCD. Make sure you keep holding on to your BCD, especially if you have a weight belt on. To go back in, open up your BCD, make sure that everything is clear, nothing is entangled and once you're ready, go back into your BCD. The easiest way of doing it is to lay or sit on top of your BCD. Make sure you don't turn your body so it doesn't fall off. Put your arms through your BCD, then close your BCD by using the Velcro strap. Reconnect the belly buckle of your BCD. Stay on your back. Pull down your shoulder straps until it's nice and snug. And do not forget to reconnect your chest strap. Remember, take your time, do it nice and slow. If you can't find it, no problem. Make sure that everything is streamlined. Double check that nothing is entangled. Sure, you replace your SPG. Make sure that the altered air source is under the arm, yellow shining outwards. Again, everything looks good and in order. And then you're done. First start by signaling that you're ready to go down. Look around you to orientate yourself. Look down below you to make sure that everything is clear under you. Then on step number three, switch over from your snorkel to your regulator and clear your regulator from any water. Step four, check your dive computer or dive watch. Then on five, equalize, elevate, and deflate your BCD while exhaling slowly. Keep contact with your body at all times. When you slowly descend, make sure you keep equalizing your ears. Make sure you look down that you don't touch anything below you. Stay close to your body and equalize accordingly. Keep communicating to your body and equalize your ears, slowly descending. Once you reach the bottom, make sure you add a little bit of air in the BCD to become neutrally buoyant, get in the right trim position. Most importantly, do not touch that bottom. Once you're okay, communicate to your body that you are okay to continue your dive. First you recognize that there is a problem with your body's cylinder tank strap. Clearly communicate to your body that something is wrong with the connection of your scuba cylinder tank strap and that you will reconnect it. Ask your body to wait patiently. Then swim behind your body. Turn the tank 
readjust, make sure that the tank valve is parallel to the BCD and that there's at least four fingers from the top. You can use your knee to easily readjust your tank whenever it's needed. When it's okay, reconnect the cylinder strap, double check if everything is straight, everything is streamlined and that the connection is steady. Once everything is perfectly back into place, communicate with your body again that everything is okay, body up and continue your dive. For the next scale, swimming over sensor bottom. It is important that you are in a perfect trim and making sure that you are completely streamlined with your equipment. You can put your arms in front of you and have them close together. To swim around, you can use the scissor kick or the frog kick. We would recommend the frog kick if you can. Throughout the swim, make sure that you check that you don't touch the bottom accidentally, don't touch the surface, and keep checking if your equipment is still streamlined. Keep swimming nicely and slowly. Keep swimming around the pool. At any times, if you're moving from the shallow end to the deep end, just make sure you deflate your BCD a little bit, exhale slowly, and equalize your ears as often as possible. Again, once you reach the bottom of the deep end, make sure you don't touch the bottom and stay streamlined. First, take a deep breath in, take out your second stage, mouthpiece down, blow bubbles and gently put some air into your BCD by pressing the deflator button while you blow in. Then, go back to your second stage, clear it either way you like it, take a nice gentle breath in and see if you start to rise. Once you start rising, make sure that you streamline yourself, do not kick and skull. So keeping your legs together, also keep your arms together. Then by breathing in and out normally you should stay in one place. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Keep checking once in a while that you stay in one place and that you're not accidentally touching the bottom or the surface. Keep doing this for at least one minute. If you want to do it in a different position like I'm showing right now in the video, that is absolutely no problem. You can do this in any position you prefer. You can always adjust the BCD by letting some air out or putting some more in, but if you do that, you have to do it orally again. After a minute, completely deflate your BCD and then the skill, orally inflate your BCD and hover for at least one minute is done. First of all, move your head to the right. Then remove the mouthpiece from your second stage out of your mouth, but only do this halfway. Have your mouthpiece on the outside of your left cheek then gently start spurging the second stage to simulate a free flow. While the free flow is happening, breathe in and out slowly. It's actually very easy to breathe to a reflowing regulator, so don't panic at all. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Keep breathing for at least 30 seconds. In and out and in 
and out. After 30 seconds, replace the second stage into your mouth. Clear it by exhaling or any way you like it. If you have some water in your mask, just clear your mask like you practiced before. Begin by taking off your mask in neutral buoyancy. Remember to hold on to the mask and then gently start swimming forward. You can use your hand to guide yourself along the bottom, making sure you go the right direction. Make sure you're neutrally buoyant though, and you just swim and only use your hand to guide you. Remember, don't drop your mask. If you feel comfortable without using your hand to guide you, you can just do it fully in neutrally buoyancy. Remember to keep holding onto the mask and swim for at least 15 meters. Put the mask back on, first making sure that the nose pocket is down again, snorkel on the side, hair out of the way, put the mask on first, and then the strap. Make sure the strap is not twisted again, and that it's high above your ears. When everything is in order, with two fingers, touch the top frame of your mask, and then breathe into your mouth and out through your nose while looking up, until all the water is cleared from your mask, Whenever you're ready, make contact with your body. Grab your air gauge, tap on your air gauge to ask the air of your body. Your body will give the amount of air. Make sure you're okay to it, that you understand that person. And now the body will ask you. Give him your amount of air and make sure that your body gives you okay so you understand. Then continue the dive. So the first thing for the 5 point ascent is to signal to your body that you're okay to go up. Then the next step is to check the ending dive time. Then for step 3, go into the right ascent position by moving your right hand above your head to protect your head and your left hand on the deflator button. Step 4, check if everything is clear above you. And on step 5, we're slowly going to swim up to the surface, rotating your body making sure that everything is clear above you and keep an eye on your body so you stay close. Do not swim faster than 18 meters per minute. Once we reach the surface, then keep your mask on your face. Keep your regulator second stage in, fully inflate until air escapes from your BCD and then switch from your regulator second stage to your snorkel. And now you completed the skill. Start by deflating your BCD and while you're deflating your BCD, effectively kick so your face stays above the water. Then with your right hand, take off your weight belt and drop it right next to you. Then while you're now positively buoyant, lean backwards to end the skill. By closing off your scuba tank completely. Turn off the air all the way. Once it's turned off, take out your alternate air source, hold it with your right hand and then your second stage in your left hand. Perch at exactly the same time both second stages until all the air is released from the hoses and the first stage. Gently put it on the floor, unstreamline your LPI hose and disconnect it by pulling back the top of the LPI and gently disconnect it. Then gently unscrew your first stage from the tank valve and then very important remember to dry that dust cap from any water so no water can enter your first stage. We recommend using 
a dry cloth or towel for this one. Once it's OK, place back the dust cap on the first stage. Double check everything from any leaks and once that's OK, you can use what we call a spaghetti loop technique to make a nice little loop out of your regulator system and then gently put it on the floor. Then release your safety strap, take it off the tank valve, then hold on to the BCD with one hand, release the tank strap and remove the BCD from the tank cylinder. Gently put it on the floor again and make a nice little package out of it. Then grab the tank and very gently put it on its side on the floor so it can't fall over anymore. Put your BCD and the regulator together. Double check if everything is streamlined and then you can walk away. For the dive equipment setup, start by inspecting the scuba tank and check all the numbers on the tank. Especially check the hydrostatic test date and check your visual inspection, making sure that all the dates are correct. Check if the O-ring is in there and that it is in great condition. Then check the tank valve which way is open and close and give it a little burst to clean the valve. Once that's OK, grab your BCD at the BCD handle, put your safety strap away, and then correctly place the BCD over your scuba tank. Make sure that it's at least four fingers from the top, and then close the buckle, Double check if everything is attached. Make sure that the tank valve is parallel with the BCD handle. Place on the safety strap and tighten the safety strap accordingly. Again, double check your BCD handle that it's parallel to your tank valve. You can also check if the tank is not too high or too low by placing your hand and fingers at the top of your valve and your BCD. Now, to make sure that everything is attached correctly, grab your BCD's tank or the handle of your BCD and then give it a little wiggle. Just make sure you be careful of your back. Grab your regulator, unscrew the dust cap from the first stage, make sure that the two briefing hoses are on the right side of the right shoulder of your BCD. Place the first stage over the valve and then gently screw until it's closed. Now it's very important, do not do this too tight. So only three finger tight. It's all okay if your first stage moves a little bit before we open up the tank. Then. Attach the low pressure inflator hose by pulling back the top of your low pressure inflator hose and connecting it to your inflator hose of the BCD. Make sure afterwards you streamline it. Once this all streamlined looks in order, grab your alternate air source and attach your alternate air source the right spot of your BCD. Make sure the yellow is shining outwards. Now, if everything looks good, before we open up the tank, turn your SPG away from you so the glass, in the unlikely event, if it damages, it cannot hurt anybody, 
hold down the inflator bottom of the BCD and then slowly open up the tank instantly releasing the inflator button of the BCD all the way open up the tank until the end now do a full check of your dive equipment by fully inflating the BCD first until air escapes from the BCD and then wait a second make sure there's no leaks squeeze it a little bit so now we check that air actually goes in and that there's no leaks then deflate the BCD by releasing all the air then check if it also works orally by putting a bit of air in there a couple of breaths is enough make sure you press down the deflator button when you breathe in once that's all okay then deflate the BCD again then grab your second stage in your right hand and your SPG in your left hand clean your second stage by perching a little bit then smelling it making sure that the air is not contaminated and then put your second stage in your mouth and breathe in slowly and deeply a few times while looking at your air gauge your air gauge needle should stay still if it moves then there is a problem if it is all okay then put your second stage down again take out your alternate air source and repeat the process gently breathe in and out making sure that everything is okay replace the alternate air source and make sure that everything is streamlined again then after it's all good and streamlined gently place your equipment on its side make a nice little package out of it as compact as possible now when it all looks good and done you can walk away first thing you do is with your right hand hold down the deflator button continuously then with your left hand squeeze in the LPI hose to the top and then with your point finger and thumb pull back the top of your LPI hose and disconnect it then gently put it back on and make sure everything is streamlined first thing that you do is you unclip the chest strap of your BCD then with your left and right hand release your shoulder straps unclip the buckle of your BCD at the belly remove your SPG and then open the velcro strap but hold on to the velcro straps with your right hand to keep your BCD close to your body then with your left hand go through your left shoulder strap of your BCD and get out of the BCD with your right hand grab the tank or your BCD and move it all the way around in front of you now what's important to not let go of that BCD so keep holding on to it keep your regulator second stage in your mouth and just breathe in and out nice and gently when you're ready to put it back on put your right hand first it's very important then move the tank around on your back and then use your left hand to go to your left BCD shoulder strap once you put it back on you grab your Velcro straps put it nice and snug, not too tight, not too loose then with your left hand recover your SPG make sure it's under the arm and replace it accordingly clip your belly buckle of the BCD together make sure the alternate air source is under the arm reconnect your chest strap and then with both hands streamline your BCD again 
Make sure that everything is in place and then you're finished. Make sure that you're completely negatively buoyant by deflating your BCD all the way. Then I recommend to have one leg in front of you to have a really, really strong balance. Then open up your weight belt. Move it behind your back and then with your right arm grab both ends of the weight belt. Move it in front of you and make sure you do not drop it. So keep holding on to it. Also make sure that you keep it close to your body so you keep that balance. Then make sure that the weight belt is not twisted. Move it behind your back. Give the buckle to your left hand. That's very important. Put it back on. Lean slightly forward. That helps. And make sure that nothing is entangled within the weight belt. Especially double check your SPG. Once everything is clear, reattach your weight belt to the buckle. Make sure you get a right hand release. Make sure that nothing is twisted, nothing is entangled, and all the weights are evenly divided and your SPG is streamlined again. Whenever you're ready, make contact with your body. Grab your air gauge, tap on your air gauge to ask the air of your body. Your body will give the amount of air. Make sure you're okay to it, that you understand that person. And now the body will ask you. Give him your amount of air and make sure that your body gives you okay so you understand. Then continue the dive. When you're planning your dive, make sure you communicate clearly to each other to explain how you want to conduct a dive, including your descent, how to stay together. And throughout the dive, all the things that you will be doing and make sure that you're doing it safely. For the giant stride, stand with your toes on the side of the pool with your fin sticking over. Make sure that everything is clear below you Put a little bit of air into your BCD, 50%. Once that's okay, left hand on the buckle of your weight belt, right hand, palm of the hand, second stage, two fingers on your mask. When you're ready, look forward and then big step forward until you go into the water. Once you reach the surface, keep your mask on and your second stage in your mouth. First, fully inflate your BCD by pressing the inflator button until you hear the sound. And then whenever you're ready, switch to your snorkel and give a big okay to the people still standing on the side. For the buoyancy check on the surface, communicate to your body that you're about to perform the buoyancy check. Put your second stage into your mouth. Then deflate your BCD while holding a normal breath. You should sink down, but be neutrally buoyant at around eye level. If that's the case, then you're properly weighted for the dive. Then after you perform the scale, fully inflate your BCD again. First thing that we do is we signal OK to go down. Then the second step is we're going to orientate ourselves by looking around us. And don't forget to look down to make sure that the area below you is completely clear. On step three, we're going to change from our snorkel to our regulator. Make sure you clear the regulator or the second stage from any water that's inside. Once that's OK, on step four, we're going to check the time. And then on step five, we equalize, we elevate, and then we press the deflator button to 
deflate our obesity and slowly exhale to descend. Make sure on your descent that you equalize your ears. Make sure you look around you and below you. Make sure you communicate with your body on the way down and you stay close to your body. Make sure that we do not touch the bottom. So go into the right trim position. Maybe add a little bit of air in your BCD in the end to stay off that bottom. Once you're perfectly neutrally buoyant at the bottom, communicate to your body again. First of all, communicate that you stay close together and that you're going to swim around in a mini dive. Make sure that you're streamlined and that you have the right trim. At one point, make contact with your body and ask your body for the air while tapping the air cage. Your body will now give the air signal and then you clearly communicate that you understand it. Now you switch roles where your body asks for your air and give the appropriate air signal. Once your body agreed on it, you continue the dive. Keep swimming together. Don't touch the bottom or touch the surface. Once you're ready, tell your body that there's a problem with your leg and that you're having a cramp. Be a team and release it accordingly by scratching the top of your fin, massaging the calf and help each other. Keep swimming. Then repeat the same skill with your body. So during this mini dive, you're repeating the skills that you practiced before while actually simulating that you're on a dive. Cool. All right, so when both of the cramps are released, communicate to stay together again and continue your mini dive. At one point, make contact again for another skill. In this case, adjust for neutral buoyancy. Then, once you're okay, you're gonna signal that you have a problem with your mask and it's foggy. Clear it by putting some water in the mask and fully flood it. And then gently clear your mask by breathing into your mouth and out through your nose while looking up. While you're swimming around, at one point, make contact to your body again to practice another skill. In this case, out of air. Clearly signal to your body that you're out of air. Your body will present the alternate air source like presented before. Switch over from your second stage to the alternate. Make sure you blow bubbles. Stay close to each other by using a Roman handshake and then signal to each other that you're going to be swimming around. It's very important that you stay close to each other so that you don't lose the alternate air source. Make sure that you're neutrally buoyant and that you're streamlined. Keep looking at each other. Keep communicating and keep swimming. Again, breathe in and out nice and slowly and deeply at all times. Keep swimming, keep communicating. Keep looking around you, making sure everything is clear. Keep going. All right. Once it's time to go up, signal to your body that it's time to go up. Then stay close to each other, elevate your LPIs, deflate your BCD. Slowly swim up to the surface.
once you reach the surface, it's very important that the purse does not out of air fully inflates the BCD using the LPI button and keep having contact with the person out of air and help him out of the water. The person out of air, remove your alternate air source and then orally inflate the BCD all the way until you're positively buoyant. And then you completed the mini dive. Well done. Check your dive computer and signal that you're doing a safety stop. Check your computer again and make sure that you stay at the right depth. Also the computer will track the time of 3 minutes. Keep being neutrally buoyant and simulate that you are in a safety stop for 3 minutes long. So the first thing for the 5 point ascent is to signal to your body that you're okay to go up. Then the next step is to check the ending dive time. Then for step 3, go into the right ascent position by moving your right hand above your head to protect your head and your left hand on the deflator button. Step 4, check if everything is clear above you. And on step 5, we're slowly going to swim up to the surface, rotating your body making sure that everything is clear above you and keep an eye on your body so you stay close. Do not swim faster than 18 meters per minute. Once we reach the surface, then keep your mask on your face. Keep your regulator second stage in, fully inflate until air escapes from your BCD and then switch from your regulator second stage to your snorkel. And now you completed the skill. First of all, make sure that you're positively buoyant by inflating your BCD all the way until the air escapes from the BCD. Then take off your weight belt and put your weight belt on the side of the pool. Make sure you do it gently so you don't damage the pool. Then unclip your chest strap, release your BCD shoulder straps. Make sure that you have your mask on and your snorkel in at all times. Then take off the velcro rope and take off your BCD unit. Keep holding on to your BCD. Put your SPG on the side of the pool so your BCD doesn't float away. And secure it with your weight belt. Then swim to the side of the pool, put two hands on the side of the pool and then kick upwards to easily take you out of the water. Sit on the side, take off your fins, put your fins on the side. Take off the mask and your snorkel and gently put it on the side as well. Then get out of the water, take the weight belt off your SPG, grab the BCD at the handle with one hand with your other hand at the tank valve, be careful of your back and then gently take your BCD and your tank out of the water. Then deflate your BCD all the way. Streamline your dive equipment as much as you can and then gently put it on its side so the tank cannot fall over and it cannot hurt anybody or the equipment. Again, streamline everything. Make a nice little package out of it. Put the weight belt on the side of the tank so it cannot go anywhere. Once everything looks good, then you can walk away. By closing off your scuba tank completely. Turn off the air all the way. 
Once it's turned off, take out your alternate air source, hold it with your right hand and then your second stage in your left hand. Perch at exactly the same time, both second stages until all the air is released from the hoses and the first stage. Gently put it on the floor, unstreamline your LPI hose and disconnect it by pulling back the top of the LPI and gently disconnect it. Then gently unscrew your first stage from the tank valve and then very important Remember to dry that dust cap from any water, so no water can enter your first stage. We recommend using a dry cloth or towel for this one. Once it's ok, place back the dust cap on the first stage. Double check everything from any leaks and once that's ok, you can use what we call a spaghetti loop technique to make a nice little loop out of your regulator system and then gently put it on the floor. Then release your safety strap, take it off the tank valve, then hold on to the BCD with one hand, release the tank strap and remove the BCD from the tank cylinder. Gently put it on the floor again and make a nice little package out of it. Then grab the tank and very gently put it on its side on the floor so it can't fall over anymore. Put your BCD and the regulator together. Double check if everything is streamlined and then you can walk away.